This is Pete Blackaby, one of the UK's top yoga instructors. Pete, what should beginners know um, when starting yoga? Uh, they need to find a teacher that they resonate with, one they feel comfortable with. Um, my feeling is very strongly that you should find a yoga practice um, that is not over forceful if you don't want to hurt yourself. It's worth bearing in mind there are at least three different kind of types of yoga uh, these days. You, one I would call health and fitness yoga, you find in gyms, um, which is more to do with a kind of workout, stretching, working on muscles, putting to yoga postures. Um, if that's for you, you know, you look for one like that, you probably find them in the gym. There is also a school of what I would loosely call authentic yoga. These are often um, studying of texts with some sequence of movements, maybe chanting, and that kind of thing. Um, if that's your kind of bag, then look for one of those kind of teachers. And the, the, the yoga that I'm interested in, my slightly more modern approach, um, where there's less uh, Hindu influence, less Indian influence, and this is more to do with how the mind and the body relate to each other in a psychosomatic way. You know, the way the body informs the mind, the mind informs the body. And the ex exploration of that on the mat, that, that's my particular position. Mm. But uh, you, you also need to find one that suits you, the teacher suits you, the style suits you. So don't give up if you don't like the first class you go to. Um, find a beginner's class, of course, you know, because uh, yoga gets complex. And it's good to know the basic themes of the style you pick uh, and not to dip into a class where there's a lot of experienced people. It tends to be intimidating. Um, yes, it's important to find the right level.